Welcome to another production of the program. My name is Rick Ward. Thank you for joining me in this very difficult time in my life. Hi, Jen. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Real good. Uh, yeah, we got this thing. We uh, have the, um, oh, look at this, this guy. The, uh, oh, maybe it's gone. I, I, we had like Blues Man Cam. I've been calling a Blues Man Cam for a while <laughs> over there. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, and we got regular sky looking at the sky too. Maybe we look at this. There, look at the, we can watch. I think it might be the sunset today. So nice. maybe we'll watch the sunset here behind us while we're sitting here. Uh, it's Tuesday, and we made it all the way back around to the week's, I think, uh, yeah, I always say Tuesday is the realest day of the week, you know about that? Because it's like the deepest day in, kind of? You're like, it's like the day where you're going to put in your work, mm -hmm. and you're not looking for the weekend. Nope. It's the day where you're, you're doing real things, and you're not, you're not like recovering from the weekend like on Monday, or dreading, mm -hmm. and then... Tuesday is the only day you do real things, I think. I bet. Yeah. I, I feel that. I did a lot. Yeah, you do some real things today? Yeah, I did some real stuff today. I helped, move, helped somebody move today. That's good. It's better than the gym. That's what I always... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know that was good. Where'd they move? Uh, they moved out south of Tumwater. They moved it south? What yeah. is that, Yelm? No. More towards out the Little Rock, Rochester-ish mm. way. You ever been to Little Rock? I guess you did today. Well, yeah. And then uh, I've gone through there a couple times to go to Capitol Forest. Yeah, is that where Capitol Forest is? I don't really know. Yeah, it go. you kind of go into town and then you go right and just go straight. And it takes mm. you out there. You ever go to um, Farm Boy? Nope. That's the diner. How good? It's good. It's classic. Nice. How about um, Mima Mounds? You ever been to Mima Mounds? Yeah, I've been been to those. That's like you gotta see that spot if you're around here for a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder what caused them. Yeah, aliens. Maybe. Aliens or glaciers. Mm-hmm. I was thinking glaciers. Yeah. They say that all the mounds have different soil compositions. Whoa, that's weird. Yeah. That's cool, though. So maybe glaciers. Mm -hmm. But then there's no other. It's like the only one maybe mm -hmm. ever in the world or something. Maybe it was just like um, kids. Like, uh, bored kids, they had a lot of time. <laughs> when was the last time you were here? Uh, I think it's been like a week. When was, uh, the Blues Man, right? Yeah. And I think that was, uh, Thursday, I believe. Oh, so almost a week. Well, the last Thursday. Yeah. You seen street stuff since last Thursday? Um, nothing good that I can really think about. I just, uh, I haven't really, like, I didn't really go out and do much. Yeah? Yeah. Staying in, huh? Kind of. Well, it was also, like, raining, too, was Yeah, it was yeah. raining. Well, if you don't go out in the rain, then you're not going to get out much around here. Mm. Did you, uh, what did you have to pick up that was heavy today? Um, the big old desk. Mm -hmm. Like the, the old style ones with like the roller, uh, lid on it that comes down. Mm, yeah. Up two flights of stairs. Wow. Mm -hmm. They're on the third story? Uh, second. Well, yeah, no, it would be third. 
I think if it's two flights, then it's got to be the third story, unless there's like... Yeah, it was. It was the third story. It was like up kind of towards like, I guess, an Atticus area, I guess. Would yeah. Be. Two it's flights to the second story. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah. How's, how's your back? It's good. I know how to do that stuff. You gotta lift with your legs. Yeah. That's what they, that's what they always say. Uh, you, uh, get, ever get close to pinching your fingers? No. That's what I'm always worried about, because you're carrying furniture through hallways and doorways. Doorways mostly is where you get your fingers pinned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I made sure we pulled out all, like, the drawers and stuff, so that way, uh, we have, like, good, like, hand holds and everything. Because yeah. the first flight of stairs was with a hand cart. Mm. And then the it couldn't the hand cart couldn't fit up the second flight, so we had to pull it off there and then uh, just pulled it up the rest of the way. And they're moving into a like an attic space in a house or is it like an apartment or something? It's like a like a house kind of thing. Little rock. Like past it though. Oh, like in, into like unincorporated farm zone or something? Yeah, like past, past Little Rock. What's, I think, what's next? On Alaska? I don't even know. <laughs> There's like a, maybe Tenino. Is Tenino down that way? I think so. On Alaska. I'm not really sure where all these places are geographically. We should get them, we should look at a map. I've been to all those places, though, for some reason. I don't know what happens in on Alaska. People are there all the time. I wonder if they have any good food spots. Yeah. They got a farm boy in Little Rock. And they got you know, burgers and stuff. What's your go-to there? That farm boy? Yeah. Uh, cheeseburger? Che just, <laughs> just regular cheeseburger? Yeah, I, mean, I think they got... They got like the specials and stuff too. Okay. Those are the time. Whatever you know, of the time they have their specials for the burger of the week, burger of the month. Mm -hmm. Have you tried them all? No. I haven't been there in years. Mm. I think mostly I just like the the name. Mm -hmm. Farm boy. You go there and they got a, a, a landscape mural on one of the walls. Oh, okay. Go take your picture. I don't think I've been there in like many years. But they have a, you can go shoot the gun. They got shotgun range uh, right outside the Mammoth Mountains. You go to the Mammoth Mountains, you can hear it. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, I'd say, funner than bowling. It's kind of like bowling. Mm -hmm. Whoa. See that bird? Oh, it was cool. Yeah. Where well, you can go, they have the clay pigeons. Mm hmm. And say, uh, pull! That's what you say. Mm -hmm. I thought you, they call it skeet. I was like, you say skeet! <laughs> but that's not <laughs> what it is. <laughs> have you done it? Yeah, I've done it. It's fun. Mm hmm. It reminded me of uh, Duck Hunt. You know mm -hmm. duck. You know the second mode in duck hunt. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've never gotten to just do it with the actual. Uh, what are they called? What are they called? Clay those? pigeons. Yeah, the clay pigeons. Uh huh. But um, with my grandpa, we used to go out and shoot cans, like, to, like put some rocks in them. Yeah. And throw them up in the air, and then you hit them with the shotgun. Well, these are probably. Mm hmm. Those things are going pretty fast and shooting far away from you. Mm -hmm. It seems like it'd be fun, though. Yeah. I'm going to get duck hunt. That was a fun game. Are you going to get the the gun to go with it? Well, you got to get the gun to go with it, yeah. Well. Otherwise, you can't really play it. That's very true. Yeah, I, I always tell myself I'm going to go back and go shoot the guns, but uh, I haven't been there in 
probably. I think it's been like 10 years, probably. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but it's still, I bet it's still there. I hear the gun range out when we uh, go to Capitol. You can hear it off in the distance. There's coffee. This is coffee. I thought it was old water. I think it's okay. Old coffee. Uh, it's been there since yesterday. Hmm. I just had coffee before I left. Uh, make it? Uh, it was old coffee. I microwaved it. Nuked it real quick. Mm -hmm. You made it from before? Yeah, I was, I think, from this morning. But I didn't care. I wanted some coffee. Yeah. You got a uh, drip, drip brewer? Yeah. yeah. Regular? Mm hmm. What kind of coffee do you, do you go for? I usually drink it. It's just plain black coffee. Yeah, me too. What, what, uh, you get the beans? You get the fancy beans? No. Where would you get the cheapest stuff that I can? No, I mean, you know, I got Walmart, like value, what do you call it? Value? Yep, yep, yep. that's exactly what I get. Mm -hmm. I usually, I usually get the mild roast because it's the less they cook the beans, the more caffeine you get. Yeah, I heard that. Me too. I get medium. Mm -hmm. True is called true value. Great value. Great value. True value is another one, though, from some other place. Mm. I don't know if it's like their main goal is value, but it's good. I mean, it's not. Mm -hmm. Their donut shop one's really good, too. That's about as fancy as I get. Walmart donuts? Yeah. They have like diff they have like different kinds now of that great value coffee. And it's like all the same price. Mm. You close to that somewhere Walmart? Yeah. Like pretty pretty close. I usually mix it up between going there and Fred Myers. Fred Myers is definitely more fancy. Mm-hmm. They have a better uh, bread uh, price, though, cost of bread. You got, is that, are those peanut butter cookies? Or? No, they're uh, just like some. Oh, I thought it was the, um, the, uh, they're the, the double color cookies, and mm. it looks like peanut butter. It looks like if you look at every, uh, Every like the dark cookies, mm -hmm. and then I thought they were both like uh, the the light cookies was peanut butter, <laughs> like mixed in there. That would be good. Yeah, they're like dollar store cookies. Mm. They're decent. Not as much uh, stuff in no. there the, in, as an Oreo. Not anywhere close. Dollar store. Uh, let's see. I think yesterday was Monday. I did the program about six o'clock, mm. and then mm, I just went back to my residence to leave my head. That's what I've been saying. Maybe I should take a look at the uh, phones. Oh, you'll hear me. <laughs> We've got a good amount of voicemails. Look like Mr. Ginsu's on there. Ooh. And Gene. Oh, and Mark, the guitar player, too. Ooh. That's me sending his text messages, too. Oh, that was me. I was sending text messages to the thing. I was trying to test the, the stuff out. Mm. Yeah, here's you. Mm -hmm. Go, phones, come on. Oh. 
I think the phones might, might have to reset the phones. Yeah, it's not connected to the right one. Well, as we'll find out now. I'm going to reconnect to the other phone and see if this one's working. Might have to go reset it. It's been a while since I reset it. Sometimes I used to uh, un unset itself every day. Mm -hmm. oh. In program. Hey. Calling to say what's up. And I hope you're all doing good. Pretty good. It's nice and not rainy right now, so I'm excited about that. So uh, is it raining next to you guys? No. But yeah. No. Hope you're having a good day, program. See ya. Very sunny out. Mm-hmm. You uh do a boarding in the sun? Well, I was going to go today, but I, I didn't. I went and did the moving stuff. And then I had band practice. Mm. With, uh, what's it called? Suffering? Yep. Uh, that's a good name. Thank you. Yeah. Very, I think it's to the point. Mm hmm. You're going to be. Oh, you play guitar in the band? Yep. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. And, That's uh, good. Thanks. I'm going to be playing here. Mm hmm. In June, which is only in about a week. Yep. Look, next Monday is going to be Memorial Day. I know. It's weird. This year's like flying by. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, time. Move forward faster and faster all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what Memorial Day is for. Memorial is something, I'm guessing. Yeah, memorializing. Here's Mark. Mark, the guitar player. Why in the hell are all these church goers? Just praising about death. What? They're always praising about death. Oh, I'm coming home to see my Lord. I'm coming home to see my Savior. Don't they like fucking life? <laughs> What's wrong with life? Life is where we're supposed to be. What yeah. about your family? Why are you worried about death and all this bullshit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Death is going to happen, but you don't have to sit there and go, I'm going to make my day with the Lord. I'm going to be in heaven all the time. It's a bunch of shit. Oh. I went to the, I went to the uh, Catholic Church and they basically look like a bunch of zombies, all depressed. Uh -huh. and, 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 the, and, the, and the preacher, or the priest, he was going, In the name of the Holy Spirit, da 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 And everybody's wearing, wearing suits and stuff, and going to these churches, and it's a bunch of crock of shit. They're worshiping death. Yeah, it's like you gotta live your life for your life and people mm -hmm. are waiting to go to heaven. And you use your whole life for something after they're gonna be dead. Right. But at least you're doing something. That's what I never heard Mark get a, I don't know, I guess it's kind of political before. Usually he's pretty uh, easy going. <laughs> Do you go to church? No. 
I'm sorry, this mailbox has not yet been set up by the subscriber. Please try again later. Goodbye. I think Mark's phone is busy right now. I think that's what that means. Yeah. Yeah, it's all... I guess it's all about when you die for the... For... Uh... You're like living for the afterlife, I guess. Mm hmm And you should be living... For, yeah, living for your own life instead of the afterlife. Yeah. Imagine just sitting around doing nothing all the time, just waiting. No. Yeah. To keep busy. Well, yeah, be a good person. Yeah. Because of people around you and the a lot of people. Mm -hmm. you know, like uh. But I don't know. If Mark might be doing a Mr. Ginsu like parody. So <laughs> it's hard to tell with Mark. Here's Mr. Ginsu. The real one. Not a parody. Yeah, Mr. Ginsu doesn't like Catholics too. I think it actually might be Mr. Ginsu parody. Fucking. I hear. Doctors are having a problem with super bugs. Super bugs! That don't react to antibiotics. Uh-huh. And now they're taking the soldiers who are paralyzed and they're saying, okay, we'll test these drugs out on you. Ooh. You mm -hmm. paralyzed. Um, now why they're picking the paralyzed motherfucker because I used to be half ass paralyzed. Not really. Uh, for 15 years, and I couldn't even fucking move hardly. I was kind of paralyzed, right? Well. But every I time think... I fucking move, I fucking hurt, so. Yeah, I was but you half could still paralyzed. move, though, I guess. Anyway, the motherfuckers are Florida. taking the paralyzed people and they're fucking testing out the drugs on them for. Uh, super bug. Sounds very vague. Now what the fuck? You can't do that. That fucker can't volunteer to fucking have super bug medicine tested on him. Yeah. Um. That's just hoping instead of suicide. That's hoping the super bug that they give you will kill you. Yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, the form of suicide. For me, we already know I'm sewer side, which is almost as bad as suicide. It's not worse. Mm -hmm. It stinks like suicide. <laughs> suicide, anyway. Huh? Anyway, I'm like, what the fuck? That fucking sounds horror hall. <laughs> they shouldn't be allowed to fucking volunteer for that. Get somebody else. Go get prisoners that are gonna die. And test it on them. Yeah, experiment on prisoners. I think they do that anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds very vague. Mm -hmm. Like what? What super bugs is he talking about? <laughs> you shouldn't test me. <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds like a plot of some like '90s action movie. Yeah. You know about the uh, the. Antibiotic resistant bacteria? Yeah. From uh, overuse of antibiotics? Yeah. You gotta finish your regimen. So you get your, uh, you get your antibiotics, people start taking them until you feel better. Mm -hmm. And uh, then people stop taking them. Yeah. And then they, they can become resistant that way. 
Yeah, it's not like the uh, antibiotics are not like it's not like making you feel better directly, like a like a getting high or something, you know, or something to try to cut your. It's not like symptom relief. Yeah. It's like killing the bacteria. It's just not like you're uh, taking like pain medication or something. And you're like, oh, yeah. I feel better. I don't need to take anymore. Yeah. It's uh, it's different. So you got to finish your regimen out, or you're creating these resistant things and. Other people are getting it. I think also like uh, maybe livestock. They're like they're like giving a lot of antibiotics to livestock like preemptively. Yeah. I mean that's making the super bugs too. But uh, <laughs> super bugs, super drugs. Oh, we're gonna call Freddie the producer. Right. And then we'll call Mr. Ginsu after that. Mr. Gintsu, what do you like? Uh, we're here hearing about this superbug stuff. <laughs> it's on the news, on the radio, or something. Right. Soldiers. I think they're gonna test it on, like, uh, just like poor people who needed a dollar. I think that's what they usually test, who do human testing on. Hey, you've reached Freddy Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy. It's the program. Can you say hi to Freddy? Hey, Freddy. You can call us back. You have about 33 minutes. Yeah, call us back, Freddy. One. All right, Mr. Ginsu. Yeah, I've been moving. I'm moving down the street too. So yesterday, me and Freddie moved a lot of my things. Nice. I guess not too much heavy stuff. We did the heavy stuff like last week. Mm-hmm. I did that. Get that stuff done first. Mm-hmm. Hello? Motherfucker, motherfucker. <laughs> Mr. Gensu, it's a program. We're on TV. How are you? I'm okay, I suppose. Just okay, huh? Yep, yep. Could be better? Well, my hip hurts. Still, my neck hurts a little bit, too. No, your hip, your hip popped out a place? Yeah. Ah. A little bit. Yeah. And or it gets crunched, whatever, it gets crunched up in there. Got I'm not so sure that it was not out of place. I think something was pinched. Mm. Mm. I think it was unpinching. It's in the process of unpinching, but it kind of wants to go back. You got nerves, <laughs> pinched nerves. Mm-hmm. Somehow, my neck freaking don't feel too awesome. What happened to your neck? Oh, uh, well, except for the fact that I got freaking rear-ended very freaking somebody. Yeah, when was that? That was a while ago. A couple weeks. Mm. Month. Yeah, it could show up like now, but it, you let them go. You should have got their information. Yeah, let them go. Take it. Always get their information. I think you could get money too. I mean, you could even if you let them go, or even if you're not hurt, you could get, still get money from the insurance companies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should almost done. Uh, yeah. Fuck it. They hit me. Fucking give me money. Yeah. 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 I think so. Uh, give me money for the things that we just don't know is going to fucking happen ever. But yeah. Well, when it does, uh, I'm going to fucking get paid for it. It's not you're getting money for things. You're just like, that's what ins- like the companies are for. You're paying all that money to the insurance companies. Yeah, well, they sometimes come across things to people trying to scam them. And so then fucking... It gets all very confusing, and they try to fucking get you with breaking some sort of law, and then you go to jail for fucking getting rear-ended. I got. Yeah, you're concerned about if you involve the insurance companies that you're gonna be uh, in trouble. But I think you, if you're not doing anything wrong, they shouldn't. I want to have something more wrong than fucking whatever is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This one, I'm just gonna have to eat. All right. 
You're talking about the, uh, the antibiotic resistant superbugs? Yeah, they were saying veterans that were paralyzed were volunteering to test that shit out. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's like, what the fuck? What are the, what's the new drugs? Are they just like extra strong antibiotics? I suppose. Unless they didn't tell the whole story, such as the veterans already had something that they needed antibiotics for that weren't working. Um, right? They caught the superbugs? If, if they already need them, go ahead and test them. But fucking, if they don't need them, don't test them on them. Yeah, but they're volunteering, though, right? You said they shouldn't be allowed to volunteer? Some, somehow in there. They're volunteering because they figure there's a chance they could die <laughs> you, if they catch something that they can't cure. They you think they're trying to get suicide by like horrible disease? Mm hmm. That's like uh. You don't think if they and wanted to, if they wanted when to. When it's done, it's done. If they didn't figure it out, sorry, I'm yeah. out of here. You think if they wanted to to die, that maybe they would just uh. You know, do do what? Go. Nothing. Cause you're paralyzed. Well, well you know, roll, you, 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 anything else other than getting a disease that lasts a really long time and slowly dying from it. You think you, they would do something? From it. They would do something what quick. They was trying to. What was it? They were trying to stop by giving them this uh, uh, medicine. MRSA, maybe. Oh. It's Flesh eating bacteria, just all sorts of whatever yeah, flesh eating yeah. bacteria or things that the yeah. antibiotics won't cure. Yeah. Can't cure. The drug resistant bugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, brother. That's got to be the flesh eating uh, rotten, kill you rotten type. Well, I think there's also other ones that don't get eat your flesh, but they just make you sick. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think they eat your flesh. All of them? Bacteria is like flesh, don't they? Or do they only like your brain? I don't think all of them like flesh, necessarily. No, it, there's like different bacteria, I think, that do different things. Hmm. They like your liver? Or that's flesh. I think there's um, like a, lots of bacteria, lots of different kinds that can give, do different things. Yeah. Oh, so you just get a hell of a jock itch? You can't get rid of? Uh, maybe potentially. Um, I think you can get a, like E. coli or mm -hmm. uh, salmonella. Those are bacteria. Yeah, but I think those are curable. Oh, staph? Yeah, MRSA though. MRSA? MRSA is like is like next level s staff. Staff's already bad, right? Huh? I said staff's already bad too. Staff's already bad, but staff is like everywhere already. Mm -hmm. Like if you get a cut, that's why you gotta wash your cuts because staff mm -hmm. is everywhere. It just like lives everywhere. But MRSA is like the is like the maybe ant drug resistant staff or something. Um, yeah, you're breaking up. You're talking outside your neck. You don't think that? I think they could, if they're volunteering, then why would you want them to to not do that? Because it's a way they get to die. But or they might not. No, no. Do you think that it's their decision to to do or not? No. They're only making that decision because they're crippled. Uh, and they wouldn't, where, let me, are you just they wouldn't let me even have drugs. They, they shouldn't give them any kind of drugs because they're crippled. Are you just uh, deciding this yourself after hearing that what it was on the news or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you're you're deciding that they shouldn't like that you're gonna make decisions for the for them. For the disabled, for the crippled the guy, army. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Just like the doctor made decisions for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm reversing the doctor's decision to yeah. 
Hey, Mr. Gintu is up, upset with the doctors because when he was uh, had a bad back and couldn't walk very well, the doctors wouldn't give him uh, opiates. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, but I think that if uh, now you're doing much better, and if the doctors gave you that stuff, then you'd be drug addict. Mm -hmm. No. Never know. Well, then I'd have a different story to tell. Yeah, but I think that the dr the doctors they have. I might not be a drug addict because right. it might have been I wanted the fucking things for fucking pain. And when the pain goes, you don't need fucking shit no more. Yeah, but the doctors maybe sub saved you from becoming a drug addict though. Because at first, fucking at first, time. You're, what a fucking time. you're taking Shut that stuff. For the, yeah, at first you take that stuff for the pain, and then after that, the pain is addiction. Mm -hmm. No. Shut the fuck up. The chances of me fucking actually coming back from whatever the fuck happened to me, oh, it's so fucking slim and none. Yeah, but it happened though. Yeah, but the chances of that happening. It's so fucking phenomenal. I don't even know how it happened to me. Uh, so fucking... Why do you think that the chances are so low? I think, uh, I don't know anybody else that's happened to, but you're the only one, so it's like everybody I know who's that's ever experienced it got better. I'm like the only fucking one. Yeah. And it's not because the doctor told me the pain's in my head. It's because certain shit popped. Fucking goddamn loud, dude. Fuck off. The second one wasn't very, it wasn't loud or nothing, but the first one was. Fuck off. You heard it? You heard your hips pop back in? Yeah, I heard it. Somebody else said they heard muscling, grinding, and muscles creaking, and then the oh. pop. And then fucking ice cream. Ouch. Yeah. Mr. Ginter was bedridden for years, and now he's, uh, well, you're walking no, around doing stuff. Yeah. Now I'm a badass motherfucker again. Oh, Watch yeah. the fuck out. Oh yeah, have you made it there? I know you were trying to, you were always like trying to get back to badassery or something, right? Yeah, well I'm fucking right on my motherfucking way, you motherfucker. Made it? You made it? No. Don't you fucking fucking think I ain't fucking every time I fucking do a push up or fucking something, I'm like, eh. Watch the fuck out. Yeah. I don't think you're like, can be a self-proclaimed badass. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> oh, you fucking think I fucking can't, motherfucker. I know what a fucking badass is, and that's fucking me. Yeah, but once, you, once you say that you are Fuck one, that I don't know if you're... Up. I look at what I do versus what every motherfucking else does, and I go, fuck. Fuck you. Yeah, but I think... I'm it, badass. If you say it, but I think you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta not tell people in this, make them think it. Because if you tell people, they're like, I don't know about that. It'd be some just... You do, uh... I don't know, your push-ups or whatever. Do your push-ups and then punch a cop. And then you say, oh, look, there is a badass. Yeah. <laughs> Do 30 push-ups. Wow. Well, I ain't fucking all the way fucking badass, but I am fucking right on my fucking way, motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck you. On the road Fuck to... Fuck you, motherfucker. I'll badass. fucking kick you in your yeah. God damn, tell me I ain't a fucking badass, motherfucker. Fuck you. Yeah, I just don't damn. think, I think once you say that you are one, then it's, it's hard to be then, one after that then, point. Then I need fucking put up or shut up? No, I think it's too late at that point. It's already too late. And once you've said that you are one, it's like, oh, well, I don't know if you can say, you can't just like, if you announce it, then maybe it's not, ha, it's, it's not very bad. It, ass, it's not badass to get say that ass. you're a badass. You fucking oh. shut the fuck up, oh. you fucking cunt. You're like a little bitch fucking needs to get fucking slapped. God uh -huh. damn. I'll fucking cut kick you if I fucking see you, motherfucker. Oh, that's so very me. badass. You're convincing me now. Yeah, you fucking bet it is, motherfucker. Threats. That's what I got from you as far as badass. I know it's badass. Fucking, otherwise, fucking goddamn... General threats. I got nothing. Yeah. All right. Otherwise, I got nothing. All right, you're a badass, Mr. Gintu. You fucking bet I am. Oh, yeah. Uh, and modest. Yeah, well, I, I can't help it. People tell me. People tell me I am. So if I can... Actually, that's people tell you? thing is... People like, tell me I am. Oh, hey. I just don't tell you're you. A bad, people tell me you I are am. a badass. <laughs> people, who say, people say that to you? They say stuff, bro. 
They call me a weasel or a fucking gopher on crack. Yeah. Which this is kind of badass. You think you don't, you don't, you don't, what does that describe to you? The uh, one guy told me, the go- one guy told me he fucking gets dizzy and delirious or dizzy whenever, if he watches me work. Yeah. Like, you'd right. be a hard worker. This, and, and quite the fucking badass, motherfucker. All right, okay? sure. Whenever you're wanting to take a break, I'm fucking sitting there fucking working. And like, working quickly. All right. Not sitting around fucking uh, standing around fucking with my finger up my butt. Sitting on a couch or something. All right. All right, you're a badass. Yes. Congratulations. Stand me, motherfucker. Or do I gotta come down there? Uh, no, you don't have to do that. We're gonna record a message to the future. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, oh, wait, oh, wait, here it goes. And I like to work hard, motherfucker. I a, work hard. A future. I work hard for my money, and I don't make much money, but I still like working hard. Say something so. to the future, Mr. Ginsu. Fuck the hell off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it, about to It's Tuesday, Jen. Jen is here. Hey. Who? Jen. All right. Uh, Jen? Bye, future. Jen? Jennifer? Is it Jennifer? No. Nope. No, just Jen. Hey, uh, Mr. Ginsu, yeah, what, are you, what, what are you doing? Jen's here. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I was sitting here about ready to play a freaking... Uh, Risk, but then you called. Yeah, Risk. Mr. Gets to playing this like demo mm-hmm. of Risk. You know about this already? Oh yeah. Like over and over. Yeah, yeah. I, I fucking won the other day. Yeah, you could mm-hmm. win the demo. I thought that they, they stop you before you can win. Isn't that how the demo works? Well, I had him down to seven pieces of property, and I had the rest of it. Uh huh. And that's pretty hard to get to. So you just declare yourself a winner at that point because the demo's not going to let you no, win like, all the way, the right? Fucking, the thing quit, finally. Well, I got yeah. one too many pieces of property and it said, uh, you're the winner. Yeah, you're playing like this outside, uh, this like, this different kind of game. You've like made your own game within the game. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I got no choice. The only way I can play the risk game you got to put up with this bullshit. Yeah, okay. And it always likes to roll sixes. How much? Is, how much is the full game? Oh hell if I know. Yep. But see, you gotta go. That's the thing is, you gotta go online, and I ain't online, so oh, okay, yeah. I can't yeah. even get the fucking full game. Fuck off. How did you get the demo in the first place? It came with it. It's on the fucking computer itself. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's just in one of them. Uh, recent files or something. How? Like you've been to recently. And uh, because I yeah. haven't been to anywhere recently, that's what's on there. Yeah. How are the uh, ants? My ants are loving watermelon. They got caves dug in. They go down into caves down in there. In the watermelon? watermelon? Pardon? The caves in the watermelon? Yeah, they got caves dug into the watermelon. Oh. And there's like 15 caves, and uh, the rest is a big trail of ants you know, coming to and from. Yeah. Getting the freaking watermelon down. Mr. Linkinsu lives with the ants. Does he keep ants? Yep, yep. Well, he. F- and I could set my glass of milk right there, right next to him. And they don't go after that because they're after the watermelon. He doesn't keep them in a cage, he keeps them in the walls. Oh. And on the floor, oh. he's just feeding them, and they're walking all around his house. But he's not uh, continuing. No, I don't. I mostly put them right next to my sink. Yeah, but, but you're... this one happens to be on my toolbox next to me, and fuck it. They're already up there. Yeah. I got, I have a Coke holder, a holder for a Coke uh-huh. on my, in my chair, and... If I set my coke in that holder, a half hour later there's ants all over it. So uh, fucking, I can't, can't use it no more. They know about it. It's uh. 
scary to me that you live with all the ants. I don't want to do that, but I guess you're a badass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, there you tolerates go. living there with ants go. instead of getting a. Uh, you're not. You're not a. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, like a. Sorry. I used to have a rattlesnake. What? Yeah, what, but, happened, uh, what happened to it? <laughs> someone. I don't want to say because, but someone killed it and what? I'm pissed. Yeah. Someone Why? Else it. They were scared of it. They didn't want it getting away or something. It was showing a, up in their room. It was they didn't in want a, to die. It was in a tank? Yeah. It was little. It was only like eight inches long. Was it a baby? Yep. So it was going to grow up then? Yep, yep. I was going to feed the crickets and shit. Where'd you get it? I found it. What? What? <laughs> Back when I could do stuff and go blazing, my feet and my... I, when my body worked, I could go blazing. You found a rattlesnake and you put it in a, like a terrarium I or what? I kept it, yeah. In a terrarium? Yep, yep. What did you feed it? I said crickets and shit. What? Oh. Little crickets and bugs. Did you ever... Like, did it, you... it didn't live very long because fucking... Uh, somebody killed it. How'd they, how'd they even do that? I would be scared to even try to kill it. Did they have to get in there? Uh, they were, yeah, what's up with that? How'd they kill it? They obviously got hold of it. Well, they got hold of it with the fish or the snake stick that I made. Oh, yeah. So I could grab hold of it without freaking getting bit by a rattlesnake. And uh, so they used that and they got it and they freaking. Yeah. Did whatever they did. What was it? What was his snake's name? I don't even think I named it yet. Oh yeah. How long did you have it for? Uh, a couple of days. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I think snakes Three go, days, they go days without eating. That's uh. Mm -hmm. No, I have said it. Fucking fucking thing didn't last long because motherfucking somebody killed it. Yeah, that's scary though. I don't, I don't think you should have his rattlesnakes. As a pet. I don't think people should have rattlesnakes as pets. That's. Uh... You ever heard of fucking milking a snake? Yeah, is that what you were gonna Someone's do? Someone's gotta do it. Shut the fuck up. And that was gonna be you. It was, but not anymore. You were gonna milk the 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 snake venom? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get some snake venom. I, could, I was gonna be a snake handler. What were you gonna do with the with the venom? What do you think? Why well, poison people? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a freaking good idea. Yeah, you're gonna poison. I remember, I remember I got it from you. Uh, what poison? The idea of poisoning people? I think that's like a pretty general, like generally known idea. Mm, I'll just tell them that was your idea. Uh, sure. Um, yeah, you're welcome. I think uh, when they 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 make uh, anti venom out of venom, the regular venom. Yeah, there you go. There you go. How yeah. about that? I think I could sell it for anti venom. I don't think you could just go to a, what like a. A lab or something? Maybe <laughs> like, I'm milking a rattlesnake. And they'll say, okay, milk it into this fucking little freaking beaker here and we'll take it at so much an ounce. I don't think they're gonna buy, I think they probably- For so much for a tenth of an ounce. I think they, they probably have their own snakes. I don't think they like buy the venom from outside sources. Who says I have to be an outside source? Can I be a certified source, motherfucker? You you were gonna. I got me goddamn certified, goddamn rattle fucking snake, so motherfucker. Maybe your your plan was you were gonna go to the the lab, the snake venom anti venom lab, and be like, look, look, I got a snake in in this terrarium, and I'm milking it. Give me a job. Yeah. 
Yeah, and where do you think they're going to say? Yeah, it might work. I don't know how Snake Venom better handle you, is Better good. you than me. Yeah, how did they get the job in the first place? Somebody said better you than me. Fucking yeah. go for it. Get where, some money. Where what? Try not to die. Was that in Texas? Nope, that was Washington. Hmm. There's rattlesnakes in Washington? Yes, there is. Oh, what, Eastern Washington? Um, it would be that's correct. Oh, <sighs> yeah, that's scary. I've never seen one. Have you seen a rattlesnake? It, actually, yeah. it's yeah? Somewhat, oh, yeah. somewhat midway Washington, right? Where, in Arizona? It, yeah. It, no, it, it, well, it wasn't all the way into the east of Washington. I was more on the west of Washington, if you split it down the middle. Did that one, did, 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 did the terrarium snake, was it like pissed off and, and rattling all the time? No. He didn't give a fuck. Hmm. He was little. It was, the tank was big. <laughs> and you're feeding him, he's probably happy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know once I went to open the fucking top because I couldn't find him. And I put this piece of tape over this top so that um, it would cover a hole in case he ever got up there and tried to get out, right? Mm -hmm. So I opened this fucking top and I'm looking in going, where the fuck is he? And uh, his head was stuck to that tape oh. and he was looking me right in the eyes <laughs> and his head was stuck to that tape, duct tape. Saved my ass from getting bit. Possibly and oh. or if I can... Yeah. I was looking at him right in the eyes, though. I was like, fuck. Look he, at that. He, he, like, could, right he was stuck? He was His head got stuck to the tape. Oh, yeah. Did you get her off? Yeah, I got it off. Well, you just pulled his head off the tape? Well, yeah. Jeez. Oh, I used a little fucking snake stick that I got and a little wire that was in there. I freaking kind of pried the wire in between his head and his freaking tape and yeah. got it off easily. It wasn't that bad, but it wasn't good for him. But it came up. He just needed some help. Well, the, the light bulb was up there, and he was, and he went up the side of the tank all by himself, and he was only eight inches. Yeah. He went up the corner. He went up the corner of the tank, and got up into the freaking uh, light. Wow. Yeah, amazing. Uh, don't mess with rattlesnakes. <laughs> I don't know, but I made it to where he couldn't get out. But fucking, like I say, he got stuck to the tape where I made sure he couldn't get out. And uh, yeah, but still, it's uh, I think even whatever you do, if you have a rattlesnake in your house, it's probably. Worse chances than just not having it at all, even if it, yeah. Down in Texas, there was snakes where I was at, and I almost stepped on one, but my uncle yelled, there's a snake. Stop. Snake. Hey. Yeah. I stopped, and the next step would have been on the snake, so they me from getting bit. All right. For sure, hey. 100%. Mr. Ginsu, we only got about seven minutes left. I'm going to make some more calls, okay? Uh, take it easy, motherfuckers. Keep, keep leaving those messages. Talk to you later. Thank you. See you later, Jen. See you later, Freddy. See you later, Kenny. Later. Uh, Freddy's not here. Oh, yeah. I don't I guess I, guess I don't like snakes. I think snakes are s smell bad. I think. And those little ones are like around here. Like, they, they, oh, I don't know. Gardener snakes? Yeah, gardener snakes will stink. If you touch it, they'll uh, pee. Or something weird. Yeah, they pee. I think it's gross. I saw a cool blue one though. Yeah. Where? Um, by Tumwater Hill. This is like two years ago when I was here. Yeah. It was a cool one though. But I used to see there there was rattlesnakes a lot in Arizona though. What did you you just, just uh, walk away from them slowly and then? Yeah, they usually let you know. Before you're like right up on them, because they're every bit as scared of you as you yeah. are of them. Hello, program. This is Gene Flag. Hi, Gene. And I wonder if you would have an idea about 
when you were going to record the program the day before, and then I could have my phone near me, or and then not have my phone near me other times. Yeah. And could not feel so connected to the phone. I am. I am going to go ten from seven to ten. So that's three hours later than you. And that's all. <coughs> Talk to you <laughs> Sunday. All Bye. right. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna call my grandmother, uh, and then Jean. But we only have about five minutes left. All right. Talk to Mr. Ginsu for like 25 minutes about snakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't believe he lives with the ants. Yeah, he he, he like does not. He's like friends with the ants. He like feeds them. He puts like meat and watermelon out for them. Uh-huh. They, I think they crawl on him while he sleeps, <laughs> or they're like on. And like Mr. Ginsu, are there any ants like on you? Okay, yeah. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. But the he not here. Oh, yeah. When he come back, he's going to call you back, okay? Okay, are you drinking water? Huh? Drink some water, okay? Okay, I'm going to take a water Okay, now. okay, good. Okay, thank you for calling. Thank you. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, I didn't ask him, but sometimes you just say, like, how many ants are on you right now? It's hard to say. 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 <laughs> so it's like several probably and I think they crawl him while he sleeps. He's the king they have the ants. There's like the queen ants, he's the king, he lives in the ants. Hello. Hello. Hey Jean, how are ya? I'm good. I getting close to my bedtime. Yeah, it's uh what, eleven o'clock, eleven thirty over there? That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, you want to know about the schedule of the program in the future, right? Yes. So I think tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm going to be doing the program at about 9.30, starting at 9.30 Pacific time. So you might be asleep for that. So it's going to be about 12.30 for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, yeah. then, and then on Thursday, I plan on doing the program about 1. Mm-hmm. 12.30 or 1. Mm-hmm. Or maybe no, two. Maybe two. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Good. Well, I'll just call you all those other days. You don't need to... Are you feeling like you're on the phone too much or you're holding the phone? Are you waiting for the call? For the programmer? Well, I just have a battle with my charger. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it won't charge. Oh. Or it runs out really fast, and oh. then I don't like looking at it. Yep, and yeah. so it's running out. Or, yeah, yep. And I find it's easy to just have that phone and look at it, and I don't like it. So yeah, I'm trying yeah. People hard to it's, not. It's in your pocket. To live. Yep. People are looking at it all the time. You guys on the bus. Everybody's looking at their phones. It's uh, crazy. Yes, very crazy. Yep. Phone life, yeah. Imagine the staying for so long. They have a three hour sacred harp sing in Northampton. And that. And it's so they're very good. Very great singers. Dude just we just hollered for three hours. Oh, you were singing? That's right. That's good. Yep. We only have about three minutes left today. Oh my gosh. Well, perfect. I'll go to bed. Mm-hmm. You're gonna go to bed? Uh, I think so, yep. Yep, I'm gonna go to bed. Phil's in my face here. He keeps, I used to pee and poop outside, and now he saves it all day and then pees and poops. Oh, in Phil? The cat box in my room, yeah, and so now it smells. What? I mean, what would happen, what would happen if you didn't have a cat box? I don't know. It's a little, it's a scary, a scary leap to make. Yeah. Well. Yep. He might, I mean, I think he would have to go outside. I think he would know not to go inside. Yeah, but now we have a precedent. I noticed three nights in a row. Mm. He was pooped over there. And so, yeah, it's a little scary. 
I thought that when he went outside that he would start doing that outside because he used to. They have that uh, stuff. They have like that stuff that makes cats like want to go on it. Oh. Or something. I don't know what is it. Some spray. You spray it on a bush. Go spray it on the bushes or something. Hmm. Oh. Well, there it is. Oh. Show's over, Gene. There it is. All right. Thanks, uh, Mr. Gintu, and thanks, Jen. Yeah, no problem. And uh, Gene and uh, Grandma and uh, okay. Mark. I think it's everybody. So I guess, I don't know, should we call you at midnight while, when it's uh, midnight to 1 a.m., Gene, or just let you sleep? Or you, if you're asleep, you're just not going to answer? Good question. How about I will call closer to the time? All right, so don't, don't call you unless you call us first. Okay. All right? Yeah. So I won't call you tomorrow, but I'll call you on Thursday. In the day, mm -hmm. All right. All right. And then we'll know when the next time is happening-ish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Okey The sun didn't go down. It didn't go down? Not yet. Oh, dung, well. dung, 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 dung. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's the credits. We're uh, oh, it's uh, Tuesday. On TCTV Channel 22, 11, 30, and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, why did you be on dot com? Three, six, zero, eight, three, six, three, four. Calling message. You get on TV. One nine state Avenue, number three. Check it out. Yeah. UFO FBI. It's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordy Fabulous, Grand Grand, South by Tom, Drum Lucas, Justin Kettle, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, it's you. You're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Bye, Gene. Bye-bye.